everyone so for today's video i wanted to show you guys how i clean my makeup brushes and pretty much just how i get them nice and clean the little mat that i'm going to be using today is one by sigma and i actually like this mat because it has different sections on there so it has like rinse phase refine plus phase wash phase and also the little refined section again and it also has like the wash eyes and the refine plus eyes and it just has little textures on there and it pretty much just helps clean your brushes thoroughly the mat brings little suctions at the bottom so it helps stick onto your sink unfortunately i don't have enough space around my sink so you're going to see throughout the video that i go from the bathroom and end up in my room so anyways now i'm just going to go ahead and wet the mat making sure that whenever i apply the shampoo it's not dry the shampoo that i'm using today is one by eco tools and it's actually a makeup brush shampoo this one I got from Ulta. I believe it was like around $10. The first brush that I'm using is one that I contour with. This one is from the Gilded Collection from Morphe. So what I do first is just wet the brush and then I add a little bit of shampoo onto the mat and just start scrubbing off, making sure all the makeup is gone. So I am a right-handed and I didn't notice that throughout the video, me using my right hand was basically blocking off like the video. So sometimes I go in and use my left hand but I'm not left-handed so then I would go back to using my right hand and kind of like doing like a weird angle like I'm doing right now but it wouldn't block the video but then I would just go back to my right hand and yeah it would just be a mess and I would literally struggle like the whole time once I'm ready to rinse I make sure that the brush like the little hairs are facing downwards and this is because you don't want to get water inside the brush because that's where like the glue is and like everything's attached so you don't want to like break that apart and on top of that you want to make sure that you use cold water because if you use hot water i just feel like it's easier for it to come off that way with hot water rather than cold water so i always make sure that the brush is facing downwards and i have cold water whenever i'm washing them Moving on to the eye brushes, I apply a little bit of shampoo on there and I use the wash eyes texture and I basically just go in like circular motions and you can literally see like all that gunk that is built in that makeup brush right now. And sometimes when I don't have a makeup brush shampoo, what I do is I use a bar soap and I make sure that it's an unscented one. And basically I just grab like the brush and I'll swirl it on the bar soap and just make sure that all of the makeup comes off right away. And honestly, it works really, really well. Like honestly, yeah, like it really works. Now we just swirl, 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 and just make sure that whenever you're rinsing, that the makeup brush is facing downwards because like I said earlier, you don't wanna get any water inside the little like glue part and you don't want it to be falling apart on you and you have to go buy a new one. And also make sure that whenever you're squeezing out the water that you're not too harsh with it because then yeah, it can probably fall apart again. As you can see, I pretty much just use those two sections. I just use like the wash face texture and the wash eyes texture. And then sometimes when I'm rinsing them, I will use like the refined plus face or like the eyes part. But I'm really just using like those two sections and just adding extra shampoo whenever I need it.
Moving on to the Beauty Blender, what I do is I first get it really really wet and then I go in and just add some shampoo and literally I just sit there and squeeze the life out of this Beauty Blender because it has a lot built in there like a lot of makeup, a lot of everything so I literally just squeeze it out and honestly I find it easier using the unscented bar soap rather than the shampoo because whenever I use the shampoo I'm literally stuck like adding shampoo on it like five times and with the bar soap literally I just like rub it on the bar soap and squeeze it out and I have to do that like three times and to rub it off I use the palm of my hands I don't use the mat because if you use the mat then part of the beauty blender is just gonna rip off because the mat isn't really built for the beauty blender it's too harsh for it so I just make sure I use the palm of my hands for something a little bit more smoother and something that's gonna be more gentle on the beauty blender So after I'm done washing the makeup brushes, what I do is just grab any towel and I literally just lay it anywhere and then one by one I start drying off the makeup brushes. You basically want to treat it like it's your hair and you want to be very gentle because you don't want anything falling apart. So I still make sure that they're facing downwards just in case of any excess water on there. And to clean off the part where you actually grab the makeup brush, I just use a little disinfecting towel and just wipe it off that way. When I first started doing this, I was so worried that the names on the makeup brushes were going to fall apart, but they didn't. Or you can also use like some rubbing alcohol and put a little bit on like a cotton ball or like some cotton pad and just rub it off that way. So this is pretty much how I clean my makeup brushes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. And voila, we are done.